Everyone, Michelle Angelique, Truth and Integrity Warrior. I just made a video, uh, actually I should say, I just posted a video on the anti-nano bucket for beginners. It's my second video that I posted. And right now I'm gonna do a little mini video on the wiring. We have some problems with people understanding how the wiring works. And so I wanna just clear some things up. So what I did is, uh, in my other videos, you've seen my anti-nano bucket or the one that I learned to make from Tony Pateresco. I am reverse engineering what I did. So I broke it apart so that you guys can see how to put it together. And so this spool of wire, which I've shown you on my other videos, this spool of wire right here, it goes wrapped around the bucket. I'll be putting the video at the end so that you can, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, you can watch and see what I'm talking about. But this is for people already trying to work on their bucket and have a few questions on the wiring. So it is one wire, and that is that plastic coated wire that you see here. This one's orange, because I have an orange one, and this is white, but it's still the same type of cable. Now, what I, what I want to express is when you buy this kind of cable, uh, copper, copper wire with plastic coating, it can come in two forms. It can be inside where it's one solid piece of copper, or it could be like this where it's multiples, multiple little wires, and then you twist and bind together when you are going to hook it up to your little O-ring so that you can connect your laptop charger to it. This is the other form. So what I'm trying to show is that even though this is in multiple little ones, little copper wires, little strands that come together, it's still considered one, one solid wire. Why is it one solid wire? Because it's inside this one plastic coating. Now the confusion's coming up and they both work is what I want to say. The solid wire or the multiple strands, they both work on this bucket. What doesn't work and what I don't know if it works, I should say, or not, is people tr are trying to take the copper wiring from a television um, cord or something else, meaning that it has two separate copper wires that are coded individually for a positive and negative connection when it goes into the wall. That matters, that matters. But when we're, when we're talking about this bucket, we're not worried about this being positive or negative. We're not worried about that because it's just one cord that's getting connected to your laptop connection. So the laptop connection at the end is going to be with your alligator clips connected to each end here. So we got one alligator clip here and another alligator clip over here, right? And it won't matter how you switch it around, which alligator clip you put on which end because it's one wire. Now, where that's gonna make a difference with this connection is when this connection is separated right here from this cord, people are trying to get this type of cord to wire up their bucket. I don't recommend it. I don't know anything about it. If you're an electrician and you can, and you know that you can, well then great and good. But I'm not going to give information on something I haven't done, I don't know anything about, so I stick to what I do know. So this cord right here, when it gets connected to the laptop charger, now the positive and negative take effect. But guess what, you ain't gotta worry about that because it's already set up for you. So when you pl plug this into the wall, this has a positive and a negative and a ground. It's already set up for you. So you connect it, right? You put it into the wall and then it goes through this little apparatus and when it sends the current through the bucket, you're getting a pulse. You'll get a pulse. Now, if you don't put this on this bucket, you won't get a pulse. You won't get a pulse. And so it, you'll get these little lights. They'll come with a little light that when you connect it, you can see the little lights stay on. I'm gonna see if I can do it right now. Give me a second. And guess what? I forgot this charger right here doesn't work. It's one of my chargers that doesn't work. But when you plug it in, you'll see a little light right there. And that little light won't pulse. As soon as you connect it to this bucket, to these cords, you will see the pulse and this light will blink on and off. Boom, 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 boom. So that's what I want to try to make clear here is we're not, I'm not using cable, any cable wire for television sets that have a positive and negative in one unit. One unit meaning 
meaning one cord. This has two cords inside of it, two wires running, because it needs to, because it has a positive and it has a negative, right? So it has to, and it has a ground. So it has to work a certain way to go into the wall unit, which is for alternating current, which is what is, they call um, AC, AC current. So you know, no thinking about this. Do not use these kind of cords unless you know how to use a spool of a one cord copper wire, right? It's either solid or it's going to be individual little copper units, or I should say individual little copper strands that's still considered one copper cord because it's in one plastic coating. Remember, these got two plastic coatings, one on each side, keeping the positive and the negative away from each other because that shit could get explosive and it could cause a lot of damage. You don't want to mess around with that. So for those of you who are not understanding what kind of copper to get, make the investment. Go sell whatever you got to go sell. You know, the rims on your car. Do whatever you got to do. Get the cord. Get the right one with the copper wiring. Get the right one and make this bucket because it's a lifesaver for many of us. And for those of you who don't know it yet, it will be a lifesaver for you in the future. All right. Michelle Angelique, Truth and Integrity Warrior. Peace out.